our film review for today. Let's go into our official moneymaker for Thanksgiving's games, and then we'll get out of here. Um, so, oh my God, they've taken the Steelers game off the lines. How crazy is that? You can no longer bet this game because of all the COVID going on. Let me make sure the game has not been canceled officially. Um, let's see if we see anything. You cannot bet the game. Ravens had seven players test positive in three days, including most recently Matt Skura, uh, Matt or Pat Macri, and Calais Campbell. Several players, several coaches, and their top two running backs. Um, so Roger, can I, oh my God, did they did they cancel it? I think they may have canceled the game. I think they canceled the game, folks. Here we go. Breaking news. The Ravens Steelers game has been postponed until Sunday afternoon. Wow. So they postponed it. They push it back. Only two games on Thanksgiving now. How unfortunate. Steelers players are not happy. Let's read some of these tweets. Juju Smith-Schuster, first the NFL takes away our bye week because another team can't get their COVID situation together. Now they take away our Thanksgiving primetime game for the same reason. Wow. Great, valid point here by Juju. Absolutely. What a joke. Chase Claypool tweeted. I'm not going to lie. NFL, this is bullshit. Eric Ebron. Delvin Hodges, backup quarterback, you should not be tweeting. You have, you're have, you not playing. <laughs> Man, this is some bullshit. Yeah, truly. Wow. Dang. How unfortunate. Only two games on tomorrow now. Makes it a little less, you know, anticlimactic. Damn, that was going to be the best game of the day, the best game of the night, even with all the Ravens players being out. We still got to see primetime Steelers. Damn. How unfortunate. All right, so the game's moved. This game's still be playing this week. Not canceled. Just moved back to, you know, the regular day. If it wasn't Thanksgiving, it, you know, would have been Sunday anyway. Unfortunate. All right, so now we only have two money makers. How even more unfortunate. Texans, Lions. We like the Texans minus three. This offense is still good by the Texans. The Lions offense is not good. We're still waiting. They're still questionable. The receivers, Kenny, De Kenny Galladay, Danny Amendola, and DeAndre Swift are all questionable with injuries, not COVID. So will they play? Probably. It's Thanksgiving. I think you kind of will yourself up to play. But I still like this Texans offense better than the Lions. The Lions aren't good at home. Matt Patricia is not a good coach. Uh, Matt Stafford's a little banged up with the thumb um they put up zero points last week that was because they had all those pieces you know out uh you know their two wide receivers their two best wide receivers galladay um am i saying that right am i saying is it galladay i don't think it's i don't think it's right but their main receiver um and um Danny, Danny Amendola and uh, DeAndre Swift. That's why they put up no points last week. But, oh, you know, all in all, Houston Thanksgiving Day game on the road, still in a dome. So their offense is still going to be, you know, clean cut, good to go. We just saw them do good against, you know, Bill Belichick's defense. And as I said, Matt Patricia's not a good head coach or a good defensive coach or anything like that. So this Lions defense is not going to be able to stop this Texans offense that blew past the uh, Bill Belichick led, uh, defense. And then we get um, Cowboys in Washington, and we like the Cowboys minus three, even though we just looked at Andy Dalton, and he a um, little questionable in some of those throws, but he stepped up when he needed to, the fourth down conversion, Zeke was playing good all game, Dallas at home for the division against Washington, who's going to start Alex Smith, and unfortunately he's not playing good football right now it's just unfortunate so we like the Cowboys minus three we like the Texans minus three unfortunately we liked the Steelers minus five and it was still climbing but we can't even take that anymore so two little team moneymaker here plus 276 you put 500 on this you're looking at uh, 1800 bucks so not bad go you know go buy a nice turkey with that right 